All right, this is Sunday, uh, the third weekend. So we have uh, about 10 weekends left until uh, our trip. And uh, I got into the countertops. Oops, sorry, Daisy. Um, yeah, so uh, I got one off. Um, I'll show you what that looks like construction-wise. It's uh, really cheap. And then I got some of the backsplash off and working on trying to get the sink out. Um, the faucet I put in here myself before, so that one's pretty easy, but the sink, uh, sink's gonna come out easy. I'm not sure how we're gonna put it back in. Um, the way the construction of these cabinets, it appears that they built the cabinet first with the counter on it, where they have access to uh, everything from the back or underneath and then they put it in place and screwed it to the wall. Unfortunately, I can't do the reverse of that, so we'll have to uh, engineer some supports. So here's where I'm currently at. Um, the counter for the uh, range is out, and I'm also peeling that backsplash. Um, I threw it away already. It's this stuff right here. It's pretty thick, and it's... Uh, um, made of some kind of plastic composite. It uh, snapped when I was trying to peel it off. But all they did, as you can see, they uh, they smeared some glue, um, some kind of adhesive on the wall and uh, or probably on the back of that plate and stuck it on. It also had a couple of uh, strips of a, like a double-sided tape that came off pretty easy, but... Uh, the rest uh, peeled off of the wall. But anyway, this is kind of what their construction of these cabinets looks like. All the <clears throat> the counters are stapled to those strips and those strips appear to be stapled to this little thin paneling. Uh, that strip in the back was screwed in the wall. There's a strip that was up here. There was a strip up here, up here. Um, yeah, you can see there's a strip underneath there. It looks like screws are coming out. So those are the ones I got to tighten. Whoop. But yeah, there's like nothing holding this corner now to the slide. Um, yeah, I feel like if I unscrewed those couple of screws on the bottom, this whole cabinet would come out. Um, don't know if that's what I'm going to do, but somehow I got to get all these staples out or what I'm thinking is uh, peel this off this paneling there's staples in here and uh, get some new ones or something but I gotta put a there's a there was a little piece underneath here that's that was stapled to the cabinet and um, it wasn't spanning all the way across, just a little piece that was stapled to the counter. So I gotta probably put a back brace somehow so that the back of the cabinets doesn't move, but plenty of space back there. Don't know, not really usable for anything. Um, but part of my plan was to cut in a receptacle here. Not sure if that thin paneling is gonna be good enough. It'll hold the receptacle just um, people using it might be not that great. Um, I don't know. I'll see. Maybe I'll reinforce that. Or uh, maybe and the other part was to cut in a receptacle here. Just kind of go around. And that definitely looks like uh, same paneling that's kind of sandwiched between some wood blocking in there. But definitely sturdier, this front. So that's definitely not uh, not a solid wood construction there. <laughs> so yeah, so now we're on to this uh, kitchen um, sink thing. So I removed the drawer, uh, was held by those brackets right there. Um, the sink is held by these brackets and they're just screwed in underneath there to the framing, to the, one of those wood strips that's running along the edge of the counter. Um, 
sure if I can look at that. I can't see that. Maybe. We'll see later. Um, so yeah, so once I peel that off and cut this caulking out of the way, the silicone, the sink is no longer attached in the front. It is attached. There's the same two brackets back there, which I'm not sure how to get to from the inside there. There's really not a ton of space. But I think uh, I'll remove the faucet and I'll try to get that sink loose because I think if I open this up somehow, um, I can get back to the framing that's holding the rest of this cabinet. All right, be back. Okay, a little bit of progress. Uh, what I found out is there is a, just a piece of wood back underneath the counter here. There's nothing back here. This is not supported in any way. And a couple of pieces on this side that held uh, screws to the wall. So I took those out. I took those screws out. Um, we have this whole front is stapled pretty heavily. And this side here is stapled pretty heavily underneath to the little block of wood, kind of like, kind of like this. So I think I'm just going to start tapping, kind of hoping to raise it up this way that these staples will just come out. I think that was going to be the easiest way. And we're going to have to figure out how to install that sink to the new counter um, before we put the counter in, because I don't think there's going to be a way. There's actually brackets uh, on all sides holding that up. So but I'm sure those guys are good. But this stuff here was really, really glued in. It is brittle. You kind of see it's some kind of a composite plastic. Um, but this this paneling is really thin and uh, I can feel there's a stud probably right in the middle, but it's not stapled here, so. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this off a little bit. We're gonna put a backsplash all the way up from the little stick-on tiles that we bought. So just that wall, not uh, not that wall. But my hope is not to ruin this piece of wood. Um, all right, I'll clean this up and start tapping the counter. All right, Daisy's gonna give us the report. What do we got, Daisy? <laughs> ah, dusty, huh? So, this is uh, week three, a couple days of work, not full days, but uh, got the flooring here in this uh, living area, just about fully completed. Um, waiting on shims over there. And then I got these two counters off in the uh, kitchen with the backsplash, uh, backsplash is off too. So they're sitting right here. Um, gonna take them to the countertop place and have them make um, Corian, same size. But uh, here's the sink. Things are kind of just uh, all over the place right now. So hopefully uh, by next week, um, I will continue these floors into the back here, into the bathroom. Uh, I gotta get this counter off and then the two little side tables in the bedroom. Uh, but yeah, this floor is looking great. We got 10 weeks, 10 weeks before the trip. So quite a bit to do. Say goodnight, Daisy. Daisy. Say night night.